I can still viscerally feel what it felt like to get that call. I can, I can actually hear my doctor's voice in my head and I can feel how my body went cold. I'm Danielle Sepulveris and when I was 24 years old, I was diagnosed with HPV. I was considered high risk with precancerous cells. What it does is uh, cause precancerous cells on your cervix and these cells can progress into a cancerous state or they can clear on their own. My first irregular pap test came about during my regular annual visit, which I didn't think anything of because it was just my regular annual visit and I had no symptoms or any sort of issues that I was going in for. And after I went in a couple of days later, my doctor called and said that my test had come back irregular and that I need to come back in for another one. And then I went to get a biopsy and that confirmed my diagnosis. They did think that I was high risk at a certain point, which was why they moved ahead with cryosurgery twice to try to remove the cells. Once I got the results of that, that, that the second round also uh, didn't work. Uh, they scheduled the LEAP procedure. The LEAP was something that they had wanted to use as a last resort for me because I was uh, 24, not even 25 at the time. And uh, they said that removing a piece of your cervix is something that could affect you later in life. You know, so that was kind of terrifying and also uh, it made me angry that, you know, this, this thing that is so common is, you know, wreaking such havoc. So they removed uh, the tip of my cervix, which officially is what got rid of the precancerous cells. Even after I got a pap test that was all clear after the LEAP procedure, they still suggested getting tested every six months just in case, which I appreciate because I'd rather err on the side of caution uh, when it comes to taking care of my health. I think everything from the two years leading up to that sort of rushed in and hit me emotionally and I actually let myself feel. I don't know that I've ever felt more alone than I did in my entire life during those two years because I, I even went to some of my initial doctor's visits alone because I hadn't told anyone, no family members, no friends. I discovered that I can ask for help and it's okay to ask for help, whether it's emotional help or physical help, that there's, there's no weakness in admitting that you're not okay and that you need to talk to someone and that something's going on with you and you need support. Since then, now I've had 14 years now of all clear uh, pap tests when I go to the doctor and clear HPV tests. After it was over, I kept thinking if there's even one person who could feel less alone going through it because I talk about it, then that would be worth it to me. It, it's so bizarre that you can feel perfectly fine and something could be going on inside your body without you even knowing. And that's, that's actually really scary when you think about it. I've met so many people now who have dealt with similar situations as me or varying diagnoses within the same realm. And they all can say exactly what strain they had or exactly what type of cells. So I feel that it's helpful that everything's gotten so much more specific because everyone is different. The fact that labs now have much more accurate testing with much more rapid results uh, is what's going to continue to save lives down the line. Laboratory tests were incredibly important and essential to my journey because without them, I wouldn't have known anything that was going on, knowing in advance or knowing before something is an issue is how lives get saved. And I, I think all the time about how differently it could have gone for me. I feel the lab saved my life.